there, Central Ohio. I'm Tim Weather Impact Meteorologist Michael Barron's back with you on this Friday after what has been a pretty cold start to the well end of the week with bitter cold temperatures out there this morning. We got down into the teens and single digits across Central Ohio. Definitely a day that you needed to bundle up out there and well we've got more of those ahead as our forecast just doesn't really get warm anytime soon. We're going to stay mostly on the cold side of things as we move through the next couple of days, but we're going to get you ready for the weekend as we head past this bitter cold Friday into at least slightly milder air. But before we do, let's get a check of what has been outside earlier today and that is the last supermoon of 2025. If you were out there early this morning, this is what you would have seen. This video here from our photojournalist Carl, who captured the shot of the moon looking big and bright out there. This full moon, the super moon, appropriately called the cold moon, as it has risen during the colder season of the year. Beautiful view out there, but boy, was it ever cold this morning. Thankfully, we are going to at least get somewhat milder air across central Ohio. Here's a look at your 10 weather impact headlines as we head between now and Sunday. We're not done with winter weather chances here in central Ohio. We have at least the risk of a little bit of snowfall between now and the end of the weekend. The good news is this is not going to be a major snow producer out there. We should see dry air across the region as well, but some snow is a possibility and we'll add that to the snow that has stuck around because our temperatures have just stayed so cold. This view this afternoon out on the Scioto Autobahn showing the snowfall still hanging around on the ground from earlier this week. Of course, Tuesday was the big snow day. The cold weather has since been the story. We have warmed up this afternoon. We're back up into the upper 20s. It's 28 right now out there in Columbus. Feels like 28 as well. The wind definitely could have made things worse this morning, not to say that it wasn't a factor. We did have some wind chills that did go sub zero across central Ohio. Ohio this morning, but thankfully again, it could have definitely been worse. This is a picture of the lows from earlier today. Columbus making it down to 10 degrees. Marysville down to 9. Marion at 11. Bucyrus at 9. The temperatures out there some of the coldest air we've seen so far this season. Thankfully, the next couple of mornings, while it still will be quite cold, only going to drop down into the 20s, so we don't have any more of those weather impact alert days in the forecast, at least for now. But we are going to keep a close eye on how cold things get in the coming days, and of course those snow chances as we head into the weekend. Current temperatures outside in the 20s, some 30s, but everyone for the most part near to below freezing. It's not until you get to those southern counties you've got a little bit warmer air. We're approaching 40 degrees down in Piketon and Jackson this afternoon. A big drop though between Piketon and Washington Courthouse, about 11 degrees down to 28 for you guys. 34 Circleville, 28 Columbus, 33 in Newark, and the wind chills, of course, a little bit colder than that, but not as bad as they were yesterday. About, say, one to five degrees off of the air temperature. What you can expect for the wind chills this afternoon. The next 12 hours out there, temperatures will start to drop as we head through this evening, but again, Overall, not so bad. We're up to about 30 here by 3 o'clock. Those temperatures push down into the mid 20s by 5, continue down from there into the low 20s as we head toward 11 o'clock tonight. But that's about where we should bottom out. Cloud cover will be on the rise across central Ohio, so this is going to help to uh, sort of insulate things as we head into the overnight hours tonight and prevent us from having some of that extremely uh, bitter cold air like we had out there this morning. Over the next couple of days, morning low temperatures will stay mostly in the 20s as the cloud cover sticks around through the weekend. We do get another little burst of cold by Monday and Tuesday morning. That's when we could get down maybe some of those lows into the teens. I think we're going to avoid the single digits though. So that's the good news heading into early next week. And then we get a little blast of warm air, uh, relatively speaking, as we head toward Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, pushing those morning lows back up, maybe even above the freezing mark by Wednesday morning. But it's going to be short lived as another chance for rain and snow comes through and it pushes those temperatures right back down across central Ohio. 
Next seven days, rain and snow chances out there. They kind of get to about 40% this weekend. I think we'll see the potential for a little bit of mix in there on Sunday as our temperatures rise some heading toward the end of the weekend. We get back to cold air Monday. That'll leave us with snow chances Tuesday. But again, as we get that little burst of warm air come Wednesday, we could have that little chance for a rain snow mix once again. Overall, though, not looking at any kind of big major snow producers for now, but we are going to keep a close eye on what comes next week. As we get closer, we'll be able to refine those details even better. And if we do have that chance for more impactful snow, we'll of course let you know here at 10 TV right now. Here's a look at the hour by hour for the rest of today. We'll see a continued clearing pattern as we work our way through the afternoon and evening, but it's short lived. Once we get into the overnight hours tonight, cloud cover will again go on the rise that will stop the temperatures for Saturday morning from getting nearly as cold as they were out there this morning. A cloud cover sticks around through Saturday morning. If you got outdoor plans out here this weekend in Columbus, it's not going to be terrible. We should make it to the low to mid 30s out there. Cloud cover around chance for a flurry or two as we head through the day Saturday. But as far as meaningful snowfall goes, we're not expecting that across central Ohio heading into Saturday night. Cloud cover sticks around, keeps the temperatures a little bit more mild into early Sunday. We should see a warming trend push into the region, but it's not going to really get us much more than say uh, upper 20s out there early in the day heading through Saturday afternoon temperatures in the low to mid 30s. Again, another chance for some snow comes through, maybe some mix, but this isn't going to be a major weather impact as those skies clear heading into early Monday. That's why our temperatures drop once again. We should expect to see temperatures out there Monday morning again, probably around low 20s, upper teens going to be a nice cold start to the work week. So make sure you bundle up for the bus stop or for that drive to work as you head in come next week. Here's a look at your 10 weather impact seven day forecast. Again, we've got those chances for a little bit of snow this weekend, but emphasis on the minor accumulation aspect of this. We're not expecting heavy snowfall across the region. Temperatures in the afternoon could get above freezing, maybe melt off just a little bit of the snow that we've seen stick around 29 by Monday. As we head toward next Tuesday, this will be a little bit of a better chance for snow 40%. But again, anything that falls from it, gonna have a hard time sticking around because our temperature trend Tuesday into Wednesday is for a climbing temperature forecast. You can see here by Wednesday morning above the freezing mark. We'll see kind of a rain snow transition period here into Wednesday before we climb up as high as 42 by Wednesday afternoon. So anything that falls earlier in the system will likely melt from there. We'll be back into some colder weather come Thursday, not totally dry, but it does look to be mostly dry as we head past that Wednesday temperatures down below freezing again by Thursday morning. We'll get up to a high around 34 by Thursday afternoon. Overall, though, our pattern here is just for a continued uh, below normal forecast. Really, the only day that comes close to normal is that 40 on Wednesday. So I hope you've got all the winter clothes out because you're not going to put them away anytime soon. We are stuck in this winter weather pattern with all the cold weather in the forecast, you know, it is a good reminder that you keep your pets safe in the chill too, because they are certainly feeling the impacts. The American Humane Society says dogs, they are at risk for frostbite once temperatures fall below 32. And if your dogs are damp or wet, their ears, paws and tails are more vulnerable to that frostbite. The Franklin County Dog Shelter says there are things you can do to help keep your furry friends safe. You definitely want to limit time that you have your dog outside um, because they do get extremely cold really quick. If you you have a short haired dog or, or animal, um, you definitely want to limit that time even shorter. Um, if you have a sweater or a coat, a pet coat, that would be good to put on your dog. Now, the Franklin County Dog Shelter also says make sure you protect those paws. Put some booties on the paws to help keep them safe, not just from the chill on the ground, but any salt that may have been put down as well, as that can definitely be harmful uh, to your pet's sensitive feet. A new video from this winter blast out of upstate New York. It shows how wintry conditions can create dangerous situations. Look at that there. Driver caught on camera sliding on a snowy ice covered road before crashing into a snowplow. The New York Department of Transportation posted this video saying that thankfully no one was hurt, but it's a good reminder to slow down. And of course, take the winter weather seriously.
Speaking of snow plows, though, when it comes to the Ohio Department of Transportation, our salt trucks and snow plows, well, you may not know who's actually putting in the long hours to put those together. It's the men inside the Chillicothe Correctional Institution who build every ODOT plow and salt truck that you see on the road. 175 men work each day in the fabrication shop building the trucks and the plows that will be operating all over the state. I think about a lot. I think about my future. I think about the opportunities that's uh, ahead of me. It's a blessing that I'm a part of something like this while being in the position that I'm in. They get paid, gain experience and certifications all while making an important contribution to public safety. And as one winter storm passes, it's never too early to prepare for the next one. And of course, the biggest factor in making it through to the other side of these storms is that preparation. That can be said to be true about anywhere, but it's certainly most true at our nation's airports. George Waldenberger reports on the unique choreography that makes it all happen. We are good to go. A choreography of plows, pirouetting around the taxiway as planes take off and touch down nearby. Kind of like a dance, right? You got to meet back up in the middle and not run into each other. Rehearsal before a snowstorm is key, as there's no room for error between the plows and the planes in falling snow. Today's formation, the flying V. And that's where we'll get 8, 10, 12 pieces of equipment and we'll clear it all in one pass. Volunteers from other departments of the airport prep today as part of the crew. They'll also assist during bigger snowstorms. And today, I'm a volunteer. Combo 17 ready to go. Driving this Overasen RSC 250. Copy that, 17. Made in Norway, this plow can clear snow. Full throttle, full braking. Not only am I maneuvering my big vehicle here, I also use this to change the placement of the snow plow. Stay in tight formation. Oh, so I'll cheat out a little bit farther than they do. Yeah. This is all as the planes are landing. Three runways, the longest over two miles, along with numerous taxiways. Dry runs on a dry day are one thing. Once it's snowing, it's a different ball game. Plow velocity 15 miles per hour as visibility can drop in an instant. Our goal is 30 minutes or less on a runway to clear it. As soon as we're done, it's opened and they're right back on it and we're closing the next runway and getting on that one. We keep this place going under any condition. Finally today, let's check out some new video into us here at 10 TV and who can Hate this picture here. Santa Claus arriving by jet ski in Rio de Janeiro's Copa, Copacabana Beach. Copacabana. I don't know why I had such a hard time saying that. This was on Thursday as part of a project to give children with a range of conditions a joyful day. Dozens of children with disabilities came together for the Christmas celebration organized by the city's firefighters and local nonprofits where they received gifts and festive cheer from Santa. The project aims to give children with a range of conditions, including childhood cancer, other syndromes and disabilities, a joyful day to help celebrate as the Christmas holiday approaches. And well, it looks like Santa Claus is having fun out there as well. And of course, you know, it's been snowy all across the country recently. And this is some new video in today of the nation's capital, where you can see snow coming down there at the White House. Some big flakes coming down. Winter weather advisories have been issued well, they should be wrapping up sometime this afternoon as snow accumulations up to an inch were expected there in the nation's capital. Of course, they've been celebrating the holidays here over the past week. We had video earlier this week on the 10 weather impact show of the Capitol Christmas tree being illuminated. And that's just one of many trees that have taken light across the country this past week. And really, with all the snow here in early December, it's looking like it might actually have a good chance at being a white Christmas for many of us across the country. Of course, we can keep our fingers crossed for that. If we stay in this weather pattern, I think the chances are looking good here in Ohio because you know that's far from a guarantee uh, with the way our weather patterns typically go this time of the year. Of course, we'll keep a close eye on it. Let you know first here at 10 TV when we do know that Christmas forecast. But as far as later tonight goes, I will be right back here joining you at 4, 5 and 6 o'clock with your latest forecast heading into the weekend. And then again at 11 to get you ready for everything going on this weekend. Until then, you can catch more online 10 TV.com. Have a great afternoon.